Hi friends, the time of analog measuring units has long passed, but in spite of this, the arrow measuring heads are widely used. And not only in self-made devices, they don't have a ultra-high accuracy, but nevertheless, in some measurements, the analog device is impossible to replace. Today we consider the technology of making an arrow voltmeter for a variety of purposes, literally for any desired voltage. Such a voltmeter can be used as a voltage meter in chargers, adjustable power supplies, and so on. But if you are the radio amateur, you will often face the process of creating printed circuit boards for your projects. The JLCPCB website will help you in this matter. This is a high-tech factory for creating printed circuit boards of any complexity level for your Gerber files. Prices start from $2 for 10 pieces. GLCPCB is one of the leaders on the market with many years of experience and is our constant partner. A link to the website is in the description. Naturally, we first need a measuring head. We can do it right from the start, but the process isn't so simple. Therefore, it is easier to find somewhere literally any measuring head of any size. It is desirable that the indicator was with a linear scale. In my case, it is the head which was serving as a high voltage alternating voltage voltmeter. I took out it of the voltage stabilizer. I need to make a low voltage DC voltmeter with a scale of 15 to 20 volts. The sample that I have on hand is designed to work in AC voltage circuits and the scale is 300 volts. Firstly, you need to open the head. Inside, we see a rectifier diode and a limiting resistor. The voltage from the terminals of the voltmeter is applied to the winding of the measuring head through this circuit of the diode and the resistor. A little later, we will remove them. Carefully remove the scale. It is glued to double-sided tape. After that, the scale must be scanned. Next, we need to edit the picture in any editor, for example, at paint. All defects must be removed. All incomplete lines, symbols, inscriptions are drawn, and of course, we change the numbers to the necessary ones. I decided to make a scale at 16 volts. We measure the dimensions of the native scale with a ruler. Then open the word, insert our drawing and indicate the dimensions. Well, in the end we print it all out, preferably a few pieces, just in case. Cut the piece of paper to the desired size and glue in place with any glue. Ok, with this sorted out. Next, carefully bite off the resistor and diode, which was spoken about at the beginning. We must solder remaining wires to each other. Thus, the voltage that will be applied to the terminals of the voltmeter will directly go to the winding of the measuring head. The head is very sensitive and the arrow completely deviates if just half a volt is applied to the terminals. Well, I think it is clear that this is no good because we planned that the arrow would deflect to the limit if 16 volts is applied. Next, we take a variable, but better a trimming multi-turn resistor of 20 to 50 kilo ohm and assemble the simplest circuit, which is now in front of you. To calibrate, the indicator is very desirable to have a laboratory power supply, but you can do with any power adapter, for example 6 volts. In parallel to it, we connect the multimeter. We will have it as a standard to compare. We apply voltage to the input and slowly rotate the trimmer until the arrow shows the voltage that we see on the multimeter. That is, it's enough to calibrate the head at one specific point and due to the linear scale, our meter will also adequately show other voltage values. After calibration, the trimming resistor is removed. The obtained resistance is measured and replaced with a constant resistor of the same resistance. If there is no desired nominal of resistor, then several resistors can be connected in series to obtain the desired value. It is desirable to use resistors with an accuracy of 1% and less. Also, a trimmer can remain, but you must fix the adjusting screw with glue to prevent further displacement. 
Often for the construction of measuring heads, reference voltages are applied to the head through the limiting resistance and marks are made on the empty scale. That marks are taken into account when creating the scale in the editor. This method is preferable and allows you to build measuring heads of high accuracy. In the following videos, we will consider the principle of making an ammeter and calculating a current measuring shunt, without which the ammeter will not work. Please rate this video, share it with friends in social web. In the description for this video, you will find links to industrial-made voltmeters and volt ammeters, both digital and analog. Don't forget to subscribe to our groups, where you can ask your questions about electronics. Now I say goodbye, until we meet again, with you as always was Kassian TV.